what's up guys it's osiris welcome to a brand new video today we'll be taking a look at reaper and osin audio yeah osin audio is an audio editor i've been using for a while now and i've really gotten i've gotten to like how it works with reaper why i prefer osin audio to many other audio editors is that it saves the audio file directly as the file instead of saving it as a project file so it saves the audio directly into the audio file so let's see how you can set this up come over to options um, then you go to external editors then you just add an external editor then browse the location of Ocean audio after installing Ocean audio so yeah so that's how to set up an external audio editor in Reaper. The way Reaper works with audio is that anytime you switch the focus of an application, anytime you switch focus to another window or, an, or application, Reaper takes the audio files offline, like you can see here. This is a simple thing that Reaper does that makes it work well with an audio editor like Ocean Audio because you can just edit your files directly while it's offline in Reaper. Then once you're done, you come back in Reaper and you can see your changes immediately. That's what's good about this. So let's try this out. I'm just going to send this to Ocean Audio to get rid of the noise in the audio recording. Open. And it just opens an instance in Ocean Audio. You can zoom in here. Let's try to get rid of the noise. Effects, noise reduction, then get noise profile. And close them, highlight the whole recording, then effects, noise reduction. Noise reductor, remove noise. Let's preview that. I can just apply that. Then the thing about this is once you save this and come back to Reaper, the effects immediately take place in Reaper because Ocean Audio is saving this directly into the same audio file and Reaper is reading directly from the same audio file. So yeah, that's the advantage of working with an audio editor that saves, that gives you the option to save your project directly as the audio file instead of saving it as a project file. If I turn the gain down on this, save this, come back to Reaper, the same thing happens here. Yeah. I've worked in other studios where that used Isotope RX. And this is just the same workflow as Rx. It's just that it has lesser effect modules. That's why I've picked up interest in Ocean Audio and I think it's the best free alternative to any commercial plugins that give you the option to save your project directly as the audio file itself. This has been part of my workflow for some time now and I just thought I should share this with you guys. Let me know if you want me to do a series on Ocean Audio and how to use the software and all the effects and modules. And as I see, it's a very promising and very interesting software. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments. And if you have any feedback, leave them in the comments. Until next time, guys. Peace.